Um, I hope everybody's having a good ass week. We almost fucking there. Where? Fucking Friday, cause uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm off on the weekend. So Friday cannot come faster, okay? So I just wanted to do a quick review over the T-Pain One Up Tour. I was able to go to that this weekend on Saturday. He performed in San Antonio at the Aztec Theater. For those who've never been, it is downtown and it's a good location. The inside is really nice. The actual concert space, there's general admission on the ground and also there's a balcony, tables, the work. So it's a good spot. I was able to get into the venue quick because I went ahead and paid for a $20 fast pass. I mean, I was by myself and the line was wrapped, bitch. Wrapped around the motherfucking me building. I was just like, oh no ma'am. Oh no ma'am, I'm I'm looking and I hear somebody say, fast pass $20, get into the after. I didn't even give a fuck about the after party. I knew, I low key, I kind of knew I wasn't even gonna be feeling it because I'm an old soul at heart. I'm tired, I'll get me something to eat and I'll go to fuck at the bed. But $20, you know, for a two in one, that's cool, bet pay for that doors open at seven so the show usually starts at eight of course i don't know what their agenda was but it felt like the show was running behind the little man with the big chain it was like the hype man or the host of the show thought it would be a good idea to let's go ahead and let's have a dance contest okay child that shit was a goddamn mess and on top of that mind you i, I went by myself but I was talking to this dude who was asking me about the venue because he drove from Houston. And while we talking, this nigga volunteered to go upstage to dance. And I'm thinking he's like the fucking Channing Tatum of dance or some shit. White boy, of course. And this nigga makes a plum fucking fool out of himself. But he was not alone because they chose three other niggas. They wasn't niggas, but y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. They chose three other dudes and you would have thought it was a gymnastics motherfucking competition like doing fucking handstands or trying to a helicopter fucking cartwheels it was a fucking mess then they had uh the girls do it and child if you can't twerk because i just call it dancing if you can't fucking dance on beat why are you volunteering for a goddamn thing i don't i, I don't get that i don't get that why would you why, why would you why you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody can shake ass, but are you doing... Mm, I don't know. Child, that was just a goddamn mess. And then one girl, there was two black girls. The first black girl, mama. Mama, don't you do that shit ever again. Second black girl, ooh, like, a, knocked it out the motherfucking water. But her, look, homegirl had her hair shaved, had some faux locks that was braided all the way down to the crack of her ass and had a nice tight uh dress on motherfucker was making it clap do you know they had her dance off with the the white mexican girl i think she was mixed they had her do a dance off with the mixed girl and mind you this is the same girl who when it was her turn he decided to have the dj play cash money taking over the nine nine and two thousands you feel me and already already just the way she was preparing to twerk I already knew this shit was about to be embarrassing and that it was. Why did they have her and the black girl who was making it shake effortlessly? I don't know. As constructive criticism, my girl, you already doing a good job with dancing. Can you go on beat? You would have looked even better if you did it on beat. That's all that's all the little man big chain he was trying to get us keep us pumped or whatever it was like hey who's ready to see t-pain we like hey yo blah, blah. He's like, all right but first we have these people with four openers first one was k dot official she has a beautiful voice then after her little man big chain comes back y'all was like hey yo who ready for t-pain you know hey all right i understand that but next we have dj young key it was a rapper from Houston and he came out with his six, seven fucking people entourage. Mind you, he's the only motherfucker that's on the track, but there's two other people with mics at libin I'm like, is this a solo or is this the fucking Migos? What is going on? What is going on? But anyway, he, he had good energy, good stage presence. Uh, however, what I didn't fuck with, and I'm getting old, I gotta be. 
because one of these motherfuckers from his entourage grabs a fucking bottle of water. He untwisted it and like chunks the water at us. And I was just thinking, oh my God. I'm like, oh, I'm like, people about to get upset. Like, oh, he, oh, they really fucked up. Now they gonna, you know what I'm saying? Anybody come out to fuck with this no more. And I was dead the fuck wrong, nigga. These motherfuckers got crunk and started jumping up and down and getting the hype. I'm just like, why? How does that, why? Why does water being thrown on you make you get crunk? I just, I don't know. I, I guess I'm tripping because one of my friends is just like, yeah, that's normal. I'm like, all right. So after their performance, of course, little man Big Chain comes back out. Who's ready for T-Pain, nigga? I, I, I look, I've been stopped entertaining this man. I'm just like, whenever this motherfucker come on, he come on. So the third person who came up is Angel uh, Citron or Citron, Citron, whatever. You sound good, girl. She's from San Antonio and she had a beautiful voice. So she had good stage presence. And then last person was Abby Jasmine XO. And y'all can look up, you know, their Instagram. I'll actually, I'll have their Instagram links below. They all had good stage presence. And I like them all for their own reason. The One Up Tour, uh, for those who don't know, he dropped an album. Was it la Was it two weeks ago? Whenever he won that show for The Mass Singer, the next day he came out with the album. So the album is fresh. I rate the concert an eight, which is not bad. I just give it an eight and I take off two points for a reason, but I'll get to that. He did perform two songs. At first I thought he didn't because honestly, it was a throwback concert. When I think about it, T-Pain has been a part of my life musically, literally through elementary school, middle school, high school, and in college. I used to love T-Pain back in high school, like adore T-Pain. Anyways, T-Pain's been doing his fucking thug dizzle for 14, 15 years now. He gave us a whole bunch of songs. Of course, you know, he had to do Buy You a Drink, Five O'Clock in the Morning, Chopped and Screwed. Like all of the features and choruses that he's done. Like, All I Do Is Win, Got Money. And like, he brought it all the way back, bitch. Of course, you know, he had to do I'm Sprung. Where I take off some points, okay? Just two points, that's it. Nothing major, two points. Now, San Antonio is the first show, so of course, there's going to be, you know, a little kinks and stuff that's going to get fixed throughout the tour. Of course. Y'all, I mean, look at this. The nigga ran out of breath. Now, look. Listen, Linda. I understand this nigga is old. Please believe me, I do. However... Like, throughout the show, y'all, after he was done with a song, it's like the lights will go down and he had two screens, a top screen and a bottom screen, and, like, they'll just be green so it can, like, glow in the dark. And, like, after the second and third time, I realized it was because, you know, the nigga is tired. You know, people chanting, T-Pain, T-Pain. Like, that shit don't matter. The motherfucker is tired. He's, a, he's an old-ass man. And he's just old. You know what I'm saying? We all get old. He's old, but there was literally a part of the show where he was just like, don't, don't get me wrong. He was honest, but throughout the show, you know, his singing was Okay, if we're being honest, some of the runs he were doing, we could have done without. If we being honest, now if y'all wanna, y'all just wanna be a fanatic and 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 not, you know what I'm saying? Let your let your fave know what the fuck is going on. That's that's your prerogative. However, like there was some parts where I was just like, we don't need all that. And there was some songs that he did a really great job in. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a terrible show. It was not terrible. And I'm just surprised that he was so out of like out of breath or whatever. Like he's been performing. He was on the mass singer. So that's just one. I guess you know what? The singing, let me give that a 0.5. That's why I deduct that by 0.5. Alright. Where the up 0.5 came from was remember I told y'all throughout the show, like after he did a couple songs, it'll go black. And then he'll come back on, right? So at the end, a part of me. Felt like it was the finale because he started singing songs that was not his. And I'm assuming that it was the songs that he sung for the Unmasked 
competition, whatever the fuck that is, I should have left then. No, not, not leave, but I should have known because I really felt like it was the finale because this wasn't his songs. But I didn't hear, you know, good night, San Antonio, thank you, nothing. Honestly, he don't have to say fucking thank you, my nigga. We already paid you, but good night, something. And hell, uh, me and the girl right next to me, you know, when he left, on the screens, remember I told y'all it was green? He had one-up album cover and everything on there. So we're thinking he's going to come back and, you know, do another, you know, another song or something. And off that way, you know, people leaving and we think we got the hookup. Okay, we just going to go ahead and take their spots and we're walking up. And we asked him security. Well, not we. Mm, I didn't ask him shit. But people around me was asking him, you know, where's T-Pain, this and that. And the nigga was just looking like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, that motherfucker don't fucking know. He works for Aztec Theaters. That's what that damn shirt says. Aztec Theaters. He don't give a damn about what T-Pain is doing. He just makes sure he get his check. Okay. So, while we waiting, and I, I'm just like, I don't know, y'all. Maybe, maybe he not coming. Because even though I went by myself, um, I, of course, you know, you meet people in the crowd. And y'all just start talking. And so, we talking to each other. Like, I don't know, y'all. Maybe, maybe he is, maybe he is gone. And then right when we're just like, okay, I'm talking my lights on. You see people in the back taking down shit. I'm just like, that nigga really left without saying goodnight? Really? Thank you, San Antonio, for being my first show. I want to say, you don't have to thank us, but something, nothing, all right? And like it was done, everybody was kind of paused like, you know, like, what? People didn't start leaving immediately, okay? It was at the a, a lag. So, child, honestly, I felt like that nigga didn't say shit to us. You know what I mean? Well, he didn't say shit to us. But then I'm, I go to work. I did see one of my coworkers there. And I was talking to her about it. I was just like, so he, he really didn't say goodnight? Like, you know, am I tripping? And she said that he had um put down the mic and then he chunked up his deuces or his peace sign. So... Okay, he gave, he said goodnight. Cause that's real, I was really pissed from that. I was just like, so you're not even gonna say nothing. Like you're not gonna say anything. But I guess since he did a nonverbal goodbye, then you know, I can't be as upset, but you know, you know. But why he gets a whole point taken off, okay? A whole point taken off, I go. After after everything, we realized that the show is over. I'm like, okay, it's cool. But let me go ahead and go get me some merchandise. You know, every time I go to a concert, I like getting me a t-shirt or a poster. I love me a t-shirt or a poster or a nice little hoodie. Something. Okay, I need something as a member of Bilia, okay, for me being there. All right, I, I love shit like that. Guess who didn't have merchandise for their tour? Their first show. How you not gonna sell no motherfucking merchandise, T Pain? Like what the fuck? I've never seen you before, and now I like I have nothing as a as a remembrance from it. And hell, you know how they do nowadays. I don't even have a fucking ticket because the ticket came on my phone. So all I do is really have a fucking screenshot. Like that shit is so whack to me. That shit is so whack to me, and that and that's what really pissed me off. Cause I was just like, so you not you not gonna have no merchandise for your fans? something i don't know that shit was just whack that shit was whack all in all he did go through almost all of his throwback songs if not all of them honestly we had it was a fucking ball it was great i love that he we was going through all the old songs um but if we're being honest him singing on some of them songs i we could have done without as well I mean, because the DJ was playing the song. Honestly, he could have just been jamming with us and, and ad living like uh, he was Amigos or some shit. And I would have been copacetic with that. Uh, some of the singing was off. And um, he did perform two songs from his One Up album. So that's good. And lastly, no fucking merchandise. No merch and didn't, and didn't really say anything to us about good night. Didn't say good night, but you know, I won't count that against you since he did a fucking peace sign. But there was no fucking merchandise, y'all. Like, this is not this is not some underground fucking rapper who might not have his shit together. This is fucking T-Pain and he didn't have no fucking merchandise. But I guess. Um, my tickets 
was like fifty four dollars for one for a general admission for his standing, and it was like a thirteen dollar processing fee or whatever. So or a sixteen dollar processing fee. Either way, however the fuck, altogether I paid seventy dollars for my ticket. Um, that's honestly that's not bad. It's T Pain. Overall though, I did enjoy myself. I love the fact that I was singing along with T Pain and he was right there. I had a good view. You know, I honestly I did enjoy myself. I did. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you fucks with me, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll fuck with y'all in the next video. Bye.